I think there are several reasons why people fail, and one of them is a lack of strictness towards oneself. Yes, I do believe that the discipline and the ability to hold yourself in a hard grip are absolutely necessary for control success. Of course, a weak, spinless person can appear at the top as well, but the probability of this is extremely small and depends entirely on chance. Most likely, he won't stay there for long. I value control very much in particular control over my own life and character. There are billions of people in the world, and each of them is unique, no one is alike. But the personality of anyone can be understood by assessing his personal qualities. Even when I was actively studying the biographies of world-famous businessmen and ideological leaders, I noticed one thing. There were no weak people among them. Yes, they were smart, adventurous, brave, they knew how to take calculated risk and were responsible for their actions. And they were strong in character. No hint of weakness, and I'm not talking about its physical manifestation. When I read dozens of books about success and business, I came to one important conclusion. It was that if I want to achieve my goals, I have to be strict with myself. And I hope you hear me correctly. I'm not saying that you can't be flexible, that's different thing. Complete control over your habits, dominance of long-term planning over short-term pleasures, constant desire to win, healthy egoism and much more. All these qualities are inherent in a person who knows what he wants and goes towards his goals despite obstacles. How would you characterize the person who has spent years building his mindset in such a way that victory will be achieved only through self-improvement and diligence? I would say that this is the person who expands and removes the boundaries of his reality. And yes, he lives in a society, so there are no omnipotent people, but he influences his life to the maximum. When you catch that line between the lack and excess of strictness, you find yourself in the golden mean. In this state, you don't lose extra energy by constantly forcing yourself to do what you don't want, but you also never allow yourself to infinitely remain Relax. Do you remember I told you several times about the third-person technique, third-person mode, when you look at yourself from the outside and separate the center of thinking from center of action? You first think about what exactly you need to do to win and then confidently get down to business. This is one of the techniques that allows me to remain strict to myself but not to cross this red line. I plan my habits and needs. I make sure that I complete my tasks even if sometimes it gets very hard. I think you understand what I mean. In my opinion, being strict with yourself, it's not about endless restrictions. Rather, it's about the fact that you know what you want, you understand that you can achieve it and you constantly stimulate yourself to move. I will not argue with the fact that all the people are different and precisely because of this, perhaps my approach will not suit many of them. I have no goal to convince you to follow my example. But I believe that this YouTube channel should be the way I planned it, honest and frank. Let it be, you know, the place where I can share my thoughts with you and talk about my views. I hope you relate to what I'm talking about here and I try very hard to deliver my ideas to you as accurately and straightforwardly as possible. By the way, yes, everyone has periods when it's better to relax a little in order not to burn out. I mean, although I like to give myself a kick in the ass, I also have periods when I just want to have a rest, you know? Once again, the golden mean is crucially important here. You can't just endlessly press the pedal to the floor. Sometimes you need to stop, check what's going on under the hood and just let the engine cool down a little. It's very hard to be a high performance person, so if you demand a lot from yourself, you also have to give yourself a lot. Quality sleep, good healthy food, sport, working with your mental state and all this, all this stuff, you know? Without such basic things, no person can last long. Learn to recover from dedicated work and everything will be fine. In conclusion, I want to say that I firmly believe everything is achievable. But it's like in any video game. 
you have to move sequentially, going from the simplest levels to the most hard ones. Monitor your condition and stay honest with yourself. Don't try to be another person, but constantly work on a better version of today's you. That's my recipe. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching my episodes, for watching this video as well. So if it was useful for you, give me a like, write the comment below to explain what was the, like, the greatest part of this episode. If you didn't like this video, give me your dislike and write the comment below as well to explain your position. See you in the day after tomorrow and don't forget to follow my channel. Thank you very much guys.